Hey, this is Greg Hawks again. This is another Sourcing Thing a Week, and uh, I'm going to be going over a, a couple things. Well, actually, one thing that I learned from SourceCon from watching Jim Stroud's presentation, uh, his keynote. He, he went over oppositional research and some of the things that oppositional researchers do and how it relates to sourcing. It was a, a, a very good session. I mean, there's, he dropped a lot of tools, and there should be an article coming out with all the different... Uh, aspects that he covered but he mentioned this one thing for for uh, blogs uh, and 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 uh, podcasts called listen notes and I was messing around with it the other day just running a couple searches and I thought it was pretty interesting the kind of things that I was finding so for instance if I'm looking for something in engineering software engineering just put in this and it's, it's actually really interesting another way to find niche talent because obviously people that are are into different aspects of industry or or um diving in in and talking nerdy about some of this stuff i mean they have podcasts they have they do videos like i do and, and that sort of thing so i've i was finding this very interesting so i um, like the first the first one here i mean that's joe rogan show that's that that's more of entertainment but if I'm looking for somebody platform software engineer in Boston, I just put this in because this is a search that I'm doing right now. Um, look, look right here, like this Google Cloud Platform podcast, and it's got several different different aspects here that you can. Let's see what we can do. We could okay, so like mail to that's a direct email, probably to this person, probably to the podcast. No, I don't need to email them right now. And I mean, they've got RS RSS feed. They've got attachments. What does this attachment go to? So I mean, I'm just messing around with it. And yeah, I mean, and you can go here. You can find look, look. They've got a couple people listed here. That might be somebody I want to look at. Right? Oh, Twitter account. There you go. See if it pops up. Maybe not so much. Maybe they have the wrong. Looks like they have the wrong Twitter account here. Because that is not NM Langley by any means. Now this guy's right. I mean, that's yeah. That looks like an engineer to me. <laughs> so, um, no, I mean, but that that might be some at least in San Francisco. So, I mean, you've got to you've got to go down the rabbit hole a little bit. But I just wanted to show you kind of what you can do. Um, I was looking for Boston. I'm sure, Bo I mean, Boston, New York. So, I mean, that's their that's their audience. I'm sure uh, it's going to be kind of hard to locate somebody specifically in a certain area with this type of tool. But I mean, you're you can find people. That are leaders of of the industry, um, something I'm all about. Let's just try sourcing. Let's just put in sourcing and see what we find. I mean, you can listen to these podcasts too, as well. And look, I mean, you can look for episodes, podcast. This is just me messing around with it for 30 minutes the other day. Interviews. Probably have to go pretty general with this stuff. Yeah, let's just try sourcing. Let's let's see what happens when I put in sourcing. Or recruiting. Huh. Oh, you know what? Because I'm looking for curated lists. There's some familiar people. Some of the things that I listen to. Okay. Looks like you want to search by episodes first. And yeah, I've heard of AirSource. I've heard of Mark's uh, Sourcing Challenge show. I look. I'm going to I'm going to bug mark for a minute.
and again RSS feed which is something you can add go to the web was it? it's probably a website and yeah, that's the website and this is a prime example because Dean DaCosta, Ninhi, Andre, I mean these are all people that Mark has interviewed that are I mean I would I would say all these people are, are sources you want to follow and, and listen to. Um and let's just let's just try something funny. So I mean and, and a lot of these people are would be easy to find like it's 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 especially like kind of like Dean stuff is out there Andre has a YouTube channel I mean most of these people want to be found because they work in our industry um, but let me just do this real quick and, and this is what I'm talking about and just kind of messing around with a tool and 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 seeing what you can find because how like I like I said I'm messing around with this right now and I'm finding a lot of a great information um, and we're in the K at, at Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, we're at in the K through 12 industry, the ed tech industry. So something like this is, I mean, they even got ed tech stuff here, which I was surprised, but Hey, that's great. That means I can look through some of these. I can see the ones that, that look interesting and I can pull a list of, of people to, even if I'm, if I, if I don't have a job with that's available, I can network with them and see if they know somebody that's that's looking for something or or you know try to be part more part of these shows and and try to network that way so and the thing that that just kind of astounds me is that a lot of these will have a direct email like that's a gmail that's not a company website that's probably who this person's direct email of some type even if it's if it's technically a business email And I was able to find Marks. I mean, that's 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 not a that might be that person's company email. But if you're talking about contacting somebody, you can contact these these folks directly. Um, let's see. Uh, I I had one other search I want to do for this because it's a show that I was watching when I was looking at security type stuff, pen testing and stuff. Let me see if we can find Security Weekly. Okay, and look, I mean, right here, that's his email. You don't even have to click this thing. But you can also email, you can email him directly. So, I mean, that's, that's a great resource. And the other thing I want to mention here, I didn't use a Chrome tool. I didn't use any kind of extension to find this stuff. I literally was looking through a website um, and dove in a little bit and I was able to find... I mean, it takes me directly to their emails. I don't have to do a ton of research to find these folks. So I just thought this was an awesome resource. Um, you know, I I kind of use YouTube in the same way, it in in a, in a lot of ways. Um, but the problem with YouTube is they don't really have, at least I haven't really explored it in that detail, to have like the link to the the email like right there. And I thought that was just absolutely almost like. Well, I can I can email these folks directly if I find somebody that I like, you know, and the, you can also go through podcasts and some of this other stuff, which I haven't really dove too much into. But I mean, great resource, and this is just one of the first ones that I, uh, I I've explored from uh, Jim Stroud's session. So I was really happy that he uh, he dropped all that all that stuff so that we could dive into it and and. You know, I, this is again like like YouTube. This is something that I'd even think about looking through, but uh, I've been very happy with it. So, so yeah, that's it. Um, please share and subscribe and get the word out, and I'll keep making these. Uh, thanks for reading. Thanks for watching.